Hi, I'm Morgan, and today I'm excited to tell you about my time at the Renaissance Fair. So I had the opportunity to go to a fairly local Renaissance Fair with my sister uh, very recently, and it was a ton of fun. Uh, I really enjoy Renaissance Fairs, but the last time that I've been to one before this was like clear back in 2019, so it has been a while since I've I've been to one. Um, and this one this one had a lot of things that I really like liked about it. Um, for instance, after we got into the actual fair, like towards the entrance, there was this booth where like they uh, the staff were handing out like pamphlets that showed like okay here's here's a map of the place, here are like the times that things are, and it was really convenient to have just like that paper like program sort of thing to look at in my hands whenever I wanted to be like, oh, wait, uh, what time is this thing we want to see, or what's the direction to like the bathroom, etc. That was nice. And also the I think like that that booth also had like sunscreen, which I thought was a really nice touch. Um, I brought I brought a sun hat, which like I, I found that helpful for me, but I, I have had experiences like getting sunburned before and sunburn is really, really not something I find enjoyable. So I loved how this particular Renaissance Fair was really proactive about making sure there was sunscreen in case anyone forgot sun protection. I thought that was really cool. Um, and it was, it was really like smoky and dusty there, which was like, okay, I, I, I would not have done well without a fog mask is all I'm saying. Um, but there were like food places like I think there was one place that did like smoked meat of some sort and I remember there was like this really huge line as we were coming in so I think that there like I I didn't get any food there because of my allergies but I think that the like food options there were things that people really enjoyed because I kept seeing like really long lines and stuff <laughs> um and so after we got past that area, like my sister and I ended up going looking around a lot because there were like there were like different stages or things where people would be performing at throughout the day, which were really cool. And then there were like vendors interspersed all throughout, which was a lot of fun. Like it was really cool seeing all these different wares that like small businesses and creators were selling. Like there were just so many cool things like there were so many things to look at um so there was like tons of entertainment value in my opinion um and uh early on we ended up getting like a caricature taken there was this person who did like caricatures which are like cartoonish sketches of people's like heads and faces and stuff and my sister and I ended up doing one of those uh I I think it like, okay, I don't think I can post a picture of it because of like privacy and copyright related things, but it was a lot of fun. And I think we ended up giving uh, the caricature to my mother. And I thought that was just like a cool, like souvenir type, like, and also like gift idea. Like, I don't know, I think that was a really fun experience. Um, and then after, like after that, we continued walking around a lot. And one thing I really loved about this was just like the ambiance. There were so many just little world building touches. Like for instance, like the signage around <laughs> around the fair. Like for instance, I remember there was this one sign that had like Henry VIII on it. I think I have a picture uh, that I can post. Um, I can't remember if it was like for a food place or just designating an area, but it had Henry VIII on it. And I just, I thought it looked, it added so much to the Renaissance like vibe. And also there was just this random like standee of Gollum, I think from like Lord of the Rings or something. And I made sure to get like a selfie in front of that just because I thought it was very noteworthy and remarkable. Um, and also there were like things to pose around. Like there were these stockades. I, I, think, I, I think I asked my sister to get a photo of me posing in those. I don't think I posed very well, but I just thought it was funny. Um, and there was, there were also like photo, I think they're called stand-ins, where they have like these cutouts um, that you put your head in and someone else will take a picture of you. Uh, and I took, I think I, I must have had my sister take a photo of me behind one that had like, uh, it looked kind of like 
a stereotype of like a European pub um, where there was like this man and this woman holding like beer and pretzels and I, I asked my sister to take a photo of me in front of sorry behind that I think um, and I also loved like the architecture of the area like for instance the buildings like a lot of them looked kind of they had a renaissance vibe and there was one that I really really liked it was like this wooden building with a cross on top but it looked like it had like these tree branches partially inside the building so it gave a really beautiful rustic feel oh and I also wanted to talk about like um, the the joust the joust was a ton of fun uh, so my sister and I I think she had us get there like almost half an hour before the joust started because we wanted to get seats like we wanted to actually be able to sit down in the shade uh, to watch that and I was a bit like irritated at her but in retrospect she was smart she 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 was thinking like um, she was thinking ahead and I I appreciate in retrospect that she was right <laughs> um, um, but yeah, we got good seats for the joust. And how, how they do the joust at this place is, like, there's one side that's, like, up, um, like, elevated, that's kind of in the shade. And on the other side, there's in the sun, like, um, these, like, how do I describe it? Like, grandstands, places to sit that are more, like, in the sunlight. But half of the people on both sides uh it's split like left and right so half of the people uh will be cheering for like one champion and the other half will be cheering for the other so it kind of gives like this competitive sports vibe um and so like there, essentially there were like teams um and we ended up being on like team like sir william or something and there was this other one that was like team sir eleanor and i think I think that the person was called Sir Eleanor, but the, like the person might have used like she her pronouns. I'm not sure. Um, and like there was this announcer guy who kept making like funny jokes, which was cool. And then there was like this procession of like the court, which included like a reenactor of Queen Elizabeth the First, which was really cool. And she like she would talk sometimes, and it was really like it really was cool. <laughs> having like an imitation queen um, or like someone who pretended to be the queen because it really added to the like renaissance vibe um and I really enjoyed that and oh for the joust itself like they're the two teams like they were on sorry the champions there was the one champion who was on the horseback with the lance and the other champion on the horseback with the lance and they would like like cross over in front of each other and try to knock each other off the horses with their lances which was really cool and like they would score points or something and uh after that part was done i think sir william which was like my team won that part but after that there was this hand-to-hand -hand combat type thing i had i don't know how much of this was like scripted versus how much of it was on the fly like i suspect at least part of it was scripted um there was like this little battle like on hand-to-hand -hand combat on the ground which was really cool and then sir eleanor won that part it was just it was fun i loved how like both sides had the opportunity to win at different points because i think it it really like i felt like that's something that's important because a lot of times like renaissance fairs have like little kids who might not understand about like sometimes you win sometimes you lose so i liked how they tried to make sure that like everyone was included regardless of where you were sitting and stuff like that um oh and then i think i tried to get a photo with like the queen's court at the end uh, i will try and include a photo there if i have one um and then my sister and i ended up going uh back down to the rest of to the rest of the fair some more um and there was like this what was it called it was like a maypole dance that i really wanted to go to i was afraid that because um i, I wanted to get there like really early in the day to try and get to one of these uh, but we missed the first one we didn't get there in time but I ended up making it to like the second one and that was a lot of fun so I got to do this maypole dance which is um 
Ah, this dance where you go like in and out around a maypole and you create like this braid of ribbons on the maypole and then you go around the other way to undo it and it was just it was a lot of fun I ended up doing that like twice and the first time it was it went really well but the second time there were a lot of parents with very very young children who didn't quite understand what they were doing and so there were a little more like hiccups during the second time that we tried to do the maypole dance um, I might actually have some, I'll have to ask my sister if I, if we have footage of that. Um, and then let's see what else, like, what else did we do? Oh, before I forget, there was this, there was this hilarious sign by the Maypole Dance. Um, I think the people who put it on, like, they had a tip jar and there was this sign that said, support our only fans. And it was just, I thought it was funny. Like, it was very clearly a joke, but it was a joke that, like, people who don't have access to the internet like they wouldn't get it so it's one where it was kind of like a dirty joke but it was still something that i think like wouldn't really offend anyone um which i thought was a ta like i thought it was a tasteful level of joke um and then there okay uh after that i think my sister and i we were starting to wrap up uh but we ended up doing a couple more things before we left uh uh, I think there was like archery and axe throwing. Both of those I think cost a little extra bit of money. Um, so I just, I was getting tired by that point. So I didn't do them, but I like took pictures of my sister when she did them. So my sister did like this archery thing where like she would, like there was a bow and she would do like arrows and try and hit this uh, like piece of paper. Um, and there was like an instructor or something. It was... Uh, it was something that I think was geared more towards, like, younger people versus adults, but there were people of all ages doing it, and so I thought it was, like, a, a neat experience, especially for people who might not normally get to do archery. I thought that was really cool, and then there was axe throwing, and my sister actually got one of the, the axes to stick, like, on the bullseye, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, I think I have a photo of that, and, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, before, like, before I forget, um, I wanted to talk about, like, all the cool things that I bought from the vendors when I was there because I had a really, like, I found a lot of really cool things. For instance, um, I have been wanting to get a new flower crown. This is my old flower crown and it kind of is hanging on by a thread right here and so I've been needing to, to get a new one and so I ended up getting a new flower crown while I was at the Renaissance Fair and I really love this one because I love, like, I love sunflowers but I also love the touches of blue and kind of the rustic like leafy vibe to it oh and then I also I got this cute little hat pin which I think is cool for let me try and put this on like helping maybe it won't fit very well to this type of hat it was called a hat pin but I think I'm honestly going to end up using it more like as a hair pin for decorating like updos oh and I got this beautiful headband which I think is really pretty I just I really loved the yellow and I thought it was like subtle and something that I would actually wear for every day and then I got this uh this is a watch like it's a watch on a necklace right here that I press this this thing to open and it's like an actual watch so it's like a watch locket and on the outside it had this beautiful image of I think it's actually Nefertiti I thought like I immediately saw it and was like oh is that is that Hatshepsut like from Civilization 4 but I believe it's actually Nefertiti but I thought it was just a beautiful subtle little uh trinket and I love how it's practical because it keeps time and then I also got this absolutely beautiful oh my gosh this is the chain is kind of tangling I need to actually undo the chain in order to get this over my head I got this necklace that has like a tree um, it's got like a tree made of wires, uh, and it's got like these little, like, I don't know if I describe them as like gemstone bead type things. I'm not entirely sure if they're like little stones or if they're little glass, um, but it's like rainbows making up the leaves of the trees, and I just, I thought it was a beautiful, um, necklace. So yeah, I wanted to talk about all the really cool, neat little things that, um, that I bought while I was there. <laughs> 
Before I forget, I also got this wooden sign that says, if one door closes and another one opens, your house is haunted and you should get out of there. I love it because it reminds me of like phasmophobia and I think I'm going to end up displaying this on my desk. So yeah, I just, I had a really, really awesome time at the Renaissance Fair this year and I just, I wanted to talk about it kind of to help, to help me remember just what a wonderful, great experience I had and I hope that this like inspires you to, I guess, have a fun time, just go out there and have a fun time sometimes. So yeah, I hope that you're having a really lovely day and that you enjoy this video. Almost. Almost? Yeah, it only takes one act to kill a dude, so I think it's pretty good. <laughs>